everybody, it's Teff. Since I'm going to Generation Beauty next weekend, I thought today I would show you what's in my travel makeup bag and give you some tips to enjoy Generation Beauty or any other convention a lot more. And this video is actually a collab with my friend Melody who I met last year at Generation Beauty. Her channel's Makeup by Melody. I'll link it in the bottom bar below. And she's doing the same video where she's gonna be sharing her Generation Beauty tips and showing you what's in her travel makeup bag. So make sure to check that out. I'm also going to be tweeting and Instagramming a ton from Generation Beauty, so make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Tef Williams. Links are in the bottom bar below. And I'm also going to be vlogging the whole weekend, so keep an eye out for that video. So now we have all those announcements out of the way, let's get into what is in my travel makeup bag. This is my travel makeup bag, and if you watched my What's in My Travel Makeup Bag video last year, then you recognize this bag, stain and all. And this is what I have all of my makeup in that I'm going to be taking to California for my Generation Beauty trip. So again, you just open it up. On the top, I do have all my liquids and gels and aerosols and whatnot. And then underneath, I have everything else. So I'm gonna start with these and go through this bag and then we'll go through the rest of what's in here. Starting out the bag on the top, I have the Batiste Original Dry Shampoo in a little travel size that I got from Ulta. And then I have a toothpaste from Colgate. As you can tell, these are in no particular order. After that, I have an out the door top coat for nail touch ups, of course. Then I have a mini Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Super excited about that one. I have a little mini Argan Oil hair treatment for when I wash my hair. This is going to be my leave in product. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is a little sample size of the Sephora CC Cream in Fair. Then I have another sample from Sephora. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. All I can read from the back of what I wrote is SBF 20. So I don't know which one this is other than SBF 20, but it's from Smashbox. And then I have my Kat Von D Liquid Liner. I know I've talked a lot about this one. I absolutely love it. Next, I have a mask. This is a clay mask, I believe. It's just a really cheap one that I got from Winco. You can get it at almost any drugstore. And I just replanted it into this little container for travel purposes in case I want to do a face mask while I'm traveling. Then I have my moisturizer. And this is actually Philosophy Take a Deep Breath, which I ran out of, like, six months ago, but I still had some depotted for traveling. Next, I have a concealer. It's a Pixie by Petra concealer, and it's a peach tone concealer for under the eyes. Next, this looks like it's an Urban Decay D slit container, but this is actually my toner by Olay that I use every day. Next, I have a Zoya nail polish, and I'll be honest, this one might change out because I'm not leaving for another week and whatever I'm wearing on my nails at the time is the one I'm gonna bring, but since I don't know what I'm gonna be wearing on my nails at the time, I brought the one that I'm wearing on my nails currently, and it is called Meadow. It's a really beautiful, like, peachy gold color. Next, I have another sample. This is a fragrance sample. It's the Pure Poison uh, perfume. I think it's by Dior, but don't quote me on that. It's just a little one. I don't wear a lot of fragrance, but you know, it's Gen Beauty, so I want to get dressed up and I want to wear a fragrance. So that's just the perfect little one. And then this is my nighttime moisturizer. It is uh, Mario Badescu's Seaweed Night Cream. Really amazing stuff, totally suggest it. And now we're just into kind of the bottom of this. Um, I have a shampoo and a conditioner, and I'll be honest, I've refilled these containers so many times, I don't even know what's in them right now. Probably it's the Herbal Essences color shampoo and conditioner, the ones that come in the pink bottles. And then this is again depotted. It used to be a Willa face wash, which was okay. But I have my old, my favorite Biore 4-in-1 detoxifying cleanser in here. This is the last little bit that I have because they discontinued it. And then the last thing in my liquids and gels bag is an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion sample. I'm hoping this will get me through two days because you need so little and it doesn't make sense to bring a whole tube of eye primer just for two days. Now let's get into the rest of what is in my makeup bag. First on top I have a little baggie that has some cotton rounds and q-tips in it. Then I have my Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. I'm really just bringing this because it's small. These shadows can be used wet so I do have the option of doing purple or brown eyeliner if I want which is kind of awesome. Then on top, I do have a brush. This one is the one that I use for my blush and my bronzer. 
So there's that. I have a donut bun in case I get lazy, probably on Sunday of Generation Beauty and just wanna put my hair in a big bun on top of my head. Next, I have a little travel set of brushes from EcoTools. So I have five different makeup brushes, really cute. Next is just a little baggie with some hair ties in it, just like the little tiny elastic ones. Next, I have a big thing of Burt's Bees facial cleansing towelettes. I'm actually gonna be getting a smaller one for the actual trip, but I haven't bought it yet since I don't leave for another week. So I just put the big one in here as a placeholder to show that I will have that. Then I have a hair clip for flat ironing my hair and it's not in my makeup bag, but I'm going to also be bringing my flat iron. And I have a, if I can take out the hair tie, a little mini hairbrush. Then I have a little travel toothbrush. And then I have a hair tie. This is one of the ones that isn't supposed to crease your hair because that's an issue I have with my hair creasing. And then I have some more hair ties for actual hairstyles and then some bobby pins on the bottom. And then I have an emery board because you never know when you're gonna need one of these. I feel like whenever I bring one, I don't need it. And when I don't have it, then I really need it. So it's better to just bring it. And then I do have a little thing of sea salt because I've been having an issue with one of my piercings lately. And in case I need to soak it while I'm gone, I want to have the salt with me. I usually just use one of the cups in the hotel room to soak it with. So there's that as well. And then everything else is in my little makeup bag. So lately I've been using the Instabrow by Benefit for my brows, which I've really been loving. And I have a little Kabuki brush by Essence that I use for my powder. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I have my coverall pressed powder. You guys know I love this stuff. And then I have a little lipstick. This one's Makeup Forever, and it was actually the Sephora birthday gift last year. So that's what it looks like. It's a nice kind of nude color, a little bit darker. And then I have another one by Buxom, and it's also nude, but it's slightly lighter and slightly more um, shimmery. And they look really similar in the tube, and they are similar, but there's more of a difference when you actually have them on your lips. And then I have a Blistex chapstick. Next is a mini NARS blush. This one's in Deep Throat. It's a really pretty color, perfect for spring and summer. And then I think I only have one thing left, yes. So this is my L'Oreal True Match concealer. It is a stick concealer, so I don't have to put it in the liquids and gels container. And I really, really like it. So. That is everything that is in all of my different makeup bags within the big makeup bag. Now I'm going to share five of my best convention and event tips with you that will help you enjoy Generation Beauty or any other convention or event that much more. So the first item on my list is make sure you bring comfortable shoes. I noticed at Generation Beauty a lot of the girls were wearing heels and they had to sit down a lot. Don't do it. Make sure you wear comfortable shoes, whether it's flats or just a comfy pair of wedges or chunky heels. These are my everyday shoes. I've worn these to several conventions. Not these specific ones because they are from Payless. They cost about $30 a piece and they do wear out. I typically have to get about two of these a year, but they're really nice shoes. I've gotten a lot of compliments on them and they come with more cushioning on the bottom than a lot of flats have, so they're a lot more comfortable. Next, let's talk about how you're gonna carry your stuff around because for an event like Generation Beauty, you're gonna have to have some room. This is the purse I actually bought last year for Generation Beauty. I've taken it to several conventions since and it's also turned into my everyday purse. I absolutely love it and I bought it because it does have a crossbody strap and also these so I can carry it either crossbody or just by the handles and it has a lot, a lot of room inside. This is especially handy if you're going to be flying to an event like I am to Generation Beauty because it's perfect for an airplane carry-on. I actually already did a what's in my travel bag video last year so I'll link that in the bottom bar below and you can see what sorts of things I bring when I'm traveling to a convention. The next item is essential if you like tweeting and posting things to Instagram because at events, I don't know about you, but I tend to post so much more because I'm so much more excited about everything. The downside to that is that my battery dies so fast and who wants to be stuck next to a wall waiting for their phone to charge. So what I have is this handy dandy backup battery charger. They have a ton of them. You can buy them at Best Buy, the Apple Store, Amazon. My fourth tip is something we should all be doing anyway, but it's really hard to remember when you're at a really exciting event because you don't want to take a break from all the cool things that are going on 
and that is to make sure you stay hydrated and eat. I know it can be really hard, if, especially if you don't want to take specific meal breaks, but even if you bring granola bars or something and snack on those throughout the day, it's really important that you do keep something going through your body, otherwise you're going to have a major crash and it's not going to be fun. Same thing with water. If you don't stay hydrated throughout the day, you are not going to be a happy camper. I've seen people get dehydrated at events and it's no fun. I know for me in Portland, we have wonderful drinking water from the tap, but in California where Generation Beauty is, that is not the case. So I really love Dasani Drops or some other form of water enhancer. This is really great, especially if you don't like the local water. Even if you're at a restaurant or something, usually the water is tap water. And this will make it a lot more palatable if you're from a place that has good water and therefore you're a water snob like I am. And lastly, you want to remember that there are going to be lines at Generation Beauty or pretty much any other event, especially when they're giving away free stuff. And sometimes you just have to stand on the line and do nothing, and that's just a fact. And you need to come prepared with something to do in line. So I usually have two things to keep me entertained. I have my iPod where I have my music and audiobooks. And then I have my phone where, of course, I have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, texting my friends, etc., etc. But I also keep some ebooks on here if I feel like reading a book as opposed to listening to a book. But having it in this really compacted space, especially because a lot of people these days just have an iPhone and they have all of their music, audiobooks, and ebooks on the same device, it's a really easy way to make sure that you are set for your line entertainment. As you can see, all of these tips really tie together, and if this is your first year at Generation Beauty or maybe some other event that you're going to, I hope I've helped you know how to prepare, um, maybe if you don't know what to expect. Of course, every event's gonna be different, so they're gonna have you know their own quirks and own things that you need to do, but this is kind of a general overview of things that people don't usually think about when they go to events, or maybe they don't think through before Beforehand. and um, if you just do them beforehand you will be a lot happier during so I hope this has helped you as well as seeing what is in my travel makeup bag as always if you have any questions leave them in the comments below also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for updates during Generation Beauty I also have a Facebook and a blog links for all of those are in the bottom bar below and subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and I will see you beauties next time bye